Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to discuss about uh, number systems conversion using your 8086 assembly language. So here we will start with uh, basics of this code conversion and after that we can enter uh, with the help of software programming of EMU8086 and after that we can move into your uh, hardware programming of uh, 8086 lab kit. So first we have to understand what is BCD and what is your uh, hexadecimal conversions. So while you are taking your BCD, so it is going to looking like this. So it is going to be exact decimal representation. And if it is going to be hexadecimal representation, it is going to look like this. So if you are going to give a number of uh, 10, so till 9, it is going to be same for both the cases. After 9, if I am going to get, uh, get, uh, give the value of 10, it should be giving the value of A in terms of conversions. If it is going to be 11, it should give the value of B. If it is going to be 12, it should be giving the value of C. So like this, uh, if an input is given, corresponding output, it has to be given in terms of your uh, hexadecimal values. So since it is going to be a binary coded decimal, instead of giving zeros and ones, we are directly giving the decimal values. From the decimal values, I can able to uh, make the conversions and I can able to convert it to hexadecimal values. So first, uh, if I want to make it, how I can able to do the conversion? So in order to do that, we can enter into uh, the theoretical section. So if it is going to be 10, how I can able to convert this 10 into hexadecimal? So first, uh, I have to make it to A, right? So if that is going to be A, so I have to uh, separate those two elements, 1 and 0. So 1 has to be taken separately and 0 has to be taken separately. So 1, it should be multiplied with 0a because corresponding element is a, it is going to start with 0a. So that your element which you are going to get will be 0a. And after that one, we are going to separate this element 0, right? So this 0 has to be added with this one so that you can able to get your final element. So it works for all the components. So if you are going to take 11, so if it is going to be equivalent representation is going to be B. So if that is the case, so we have to separate both the things 1 and 1. So 1 has to be multiplied with 0A. So again you are going to get your 0A and the 0A has to be added with 1 in terms of hexadecimal addition. So it will be giving the 0P. So if you are going to take your higher numbers, so assume that you are going to take the value of 20. So if your value is going to be 20, so again it has to separate it into uh, two individual elements. So it is going to be 2 and it is going to be 0. If that is the case, 2 has to be multiplied by 0a. So if that is the case, you have to do your hexadecimal multiplication. If you are trying to do your hexadecimal multiplication, your output element will be 14. And this 0 has to be added with this one so that your final element will be 14. So like that I can able to make it for any number of cases. So one more example we can able to see it's 25. So I can able to separate it in terms of 2 and 5. So if that is going to be 2, 2 multiplied by 0a, it is going to be getting the value of 14 again. So 5 has to be added with that one so that you are going to get the element of 19. So this is your uh, binary coded decimal equivalent and this is going to be your hexadecimal values. Actually, if you are going to see in terms of BCD, so the values of 2 will be 8, 4, 2, 1 combination, right? So it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 0. If it is going to be 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is your uh, exact BCD equivalent of 25. And this is your uh, hexadecimal values in terms of your BCD. So if you are going to give your 25, it should give your element of 19. That is our objective of the program. So in this scenario, how we can able to uh, take up with any of your methodology for solving this problem. So if it is going to be programming, so you have to move it to some register and after that you have to do the calculations other things, right? So in that case, so first we have to split the elements. So we have to identify some logic so that I can able to split the elements, right? So I will take with the last example of 25. So assume that I am going to move it to some register in terms of your 8086, assume that it is going to be AL register. So if there is an AL register, so 2 is going to be, if it is going to be in terms of your binary uh, equivalence, so you can able to make in terms of 0, 0, 1, 0. 
and after that 0 1 0 1 so with some manipulations I have to take 2 separately and 5 separately so 2 has to be multiplied with 0 a and after that 5 has to be added to that multiplied element one by one so if that is the case so I have to identify some logic for that one so one of the logic to uh, get that element is going to be uh, your uh, and operation so we have seen in terms of instructions and operation so if I am going to do in terms of your and operation so if I am going to and your f0 with your uh, element so if it is going to be f0 so your element will be 1 1 1 1 and after that 0 0 0 0 0 this is the case so if this is going to happen so I have to make an AND operation right so in this one if it is going to be AND operation so it is going to be input is uh, two inputs x and y and I am having my output if that is the case in terms of AND operations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 if that is the case this is going to be corresponding to 0 this is going to corresponding to 0 this is going to be corresponding to 0 and this is going to be corresponding to 1 in this case so if I am going to make your AND operations so all the things other than your if it is going to be everything is going to be 0 your output is going to be 0 so this is going to be 0 and this case if I am going to make in terms of 1 1 will become 1 and 0 will become 0 so that is the case 0 0 1 0 so which means this is going to be by 2 and this is going to be by 0 right 20 so if I can able to find some possibility to swap these two things so I can able to get my values of 0 2 right so I have to find some logic for that one so the same works for your 25 if it is going to be 25 in, in some of your register and I am going to do the AND operation with 0 F inverse of that one so it is going to be 0 0 1 0 and after that 0 1 0 1 and it is going to be 0 f right so 0 0 0 0 and f f is going to be 1 1 1 1 right and operation if it is going to be and operation so this is going to be everything is going to become 0 so your output equivalent is going to be 0 and after that your uh, output element from 1 1 1 1 is going to be 0 1 0 1 so if that is the case I can able to get my 5 here so if that is the case if I am going to take my 5 so in that one uh, I can able to uh, take my 5 outside and if I am going to take 2 I have to make some arrangements to swap it. So if I have to swap it what kind of methodology I can able to use to swap those elements. So if I am going to swap it so one of the methodology is rotating right side 4 times. If I am going to swap the elements of 0 and 2 I can able to rotate it right side 4 times and I can able to do that manipulations so rotating right side it is going to do in terms of every bit so first it is going to start with 0 0 1 0 and after that 0 0 0 0 rotate it right so everything is going to be move one right one right side so if it is going to be moving this right side this 0 is going to move this right side and this one is going to move this right side and this is going to move this right side and this is going to move this right side and this is going to move this right side and this one is going to take its this position like this it is going to rotate itself so but we can able to check whether it is going to uh, inverse itself in terms of uh, 2 0 it is going to become as 0 2 so first rotation it is going to be 0 0 0 1 and after that 0 0 0 0 it is first rotation in terms of your second rotation it is going to be 0 0 0 0 and after that 1 0 0 0 in terms of your second rotation third rotation it is going to be 0 0 0 0 and after that 0 0 sorry 0 1 0 0 it is going to be uh, third rotation so after in terms of your uh, fourth rotation it is going to be 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 it is going to be a fourth rotation so fourth rotation is completed now you can able to say that it is going to be 0 and this is going to be 2 right so I have swapped those two elements so if I want to swap two uh, individual digits I can able to rotate it right four times so that I can able to swap it so if I want to uh, unpack two elements of 2 25 to 2 and 5 
I can able to add uh, uh, and operation of F0 and 0F. In terms of your uh, operations with respect to uh, swapping of elements of 0 2 to uh, 2 0 or uh, 2 0 to 0 2 I can able to rotate it uh, on right side for four times. So this works. So after rotating I have got my 0 5 and 0 2. So after getting my 0 5 and 0 2 so this 0 2 has to be multiplied with 0 a. So after that we can able to get the element of 14 in your ax. So if it is going to be al register so if this is going to be in al register and this al can be put inside some of your register cl so this or cl or dl anything so any of your register so your ax is going to hold the al is going to hold the value of 14 so this 14 has to be added with your next remaining element of 0 5 here you are having 0 5 right so you have to put it in some register temporary register or your any of your registers and after that you can able to take that 0 5 and you can able to add it to it so that you can able to get the value of 19 at last so this is the overall logic for identifying your uh, for conversion of your uh, uh, bcd equivalent to your hexadecimal equivalent in terms of your number systems with 8086 so we can able to move uh, to our programming side with the help of our software so how I can able to uh, make it and how I can able to do it. So I can keep these ones. So I can able to check with codes. First you can able to check with codes. So how I have done. So I have got the elements of ESI. So if I am going to get the element of 25 here. So I am going to get my uh, source index where I am going to put that value of 25 inside my address. And after that I should put some location of 2000 where I am going to place my data right. So here it can be uh, I have taken in terms of your programming side I have taken in terms of 1010. So any values you can able to take where you are going to see your output result. So after that one I am moving this value inside my BL. So I am adding 0F to it so that uh, the elements of your uh, while you are seeing your previous calculation you can able to see that right. So if your 0f is getting added to it, so I am going to separate my uh, 0, 5. So after that one, I am moving uh, the value of SI into AL register and I am trying to add uh, F0 to it. So F0, it is going to uh, again separate my uh, 25. In that, it is going to be separating my 20. So this 20 has to be rotated 4 times so that it can able to get the value of 0, 2. Right? So I am rotating it for uh, four times and after rotating, so I have to uh, move the value of 0a to one of your register and I have to multiply with that one. After multiplying, I have to add my 0, 05 to this one to the element which is getting multiplied. So that multiplied element I can able to move to dr and I can able to see the result in dr. So if I am going to give the value of 25 in my location of 1000, my output is going to get at the location of 2000 as like in this program it is 2000. So that your output element is going to be 19, which I am going to expect in terms of my output. First, initially I can able to uh, keep those things and I can able to check in my uh, simulation software. So here I can able to see the same program I have written in terms of codings. So I can able to emulate it. So while emulating it, so I can able to uh, see line by line execution how it is getting uh, transformed and how we can able to use it. So AUX memory. So in that, so check with the previous video so that uh, the how to use your uh, EMU8086 uh, you can able to understand more about it. So I have created the location of 2000 right. So in program, so see here I have located the location at 1000 right. So I have to take the element in 1000. So after that one I have to check my result in 1010. Right. This is how I have written the program. So in terms of your 1000 updated 1001. So while updating that one so I can able to enter my value. So I have to enter my value of 25 to this one. Right. So after that I can able to update it. After updating I can able to execute it one by one so that your outputs can be clearly seen. So first step. So it is going to move the value of your uh, SI with 1000. So your starting address of your uh, data. So after that one, uh, so it's completely run. 
so step by step execution so this is going to be 25 so i am going to execute it step by step so 1000 is in si and after that di is going to be 1010 and after that one your bl got the value of 25 so that your 5 and 20 can be separated and placed in different registers and after that one i am going to move the value of my uh, al with 05 0f so 0f it is going to separate my 25 as 05 so after that one in my bl register and after that one i am going to put my value of 25 in my al register and after that one i have to separate my uh, 20 from that one yeah it has been separated and after that one i have to rotate it four times so that the value of al will be getting 02 so uh, okay um, it should be 02 rotate it for uh, okay still it's not rotated cl has been moved with 04 and after that one it is going to rotate itself so rotating going to make 20 to 02 so 05 i got 02 i got so after that one just multiplying it so multiplying is going to get the value of your uh, uh, dl register uh, 0a this is 0 is getting here after that i have to multiply it with 0a so i am going to get the element of 14 after getting 14 this 0 5 and 14 has to be added that is the next instruction so next instruction is getting executed so you can able to see the result in your uh, 1010 which is going to be 19 so al register is also getting the value of 19 so this is how we can able to uh, do the program in terms of your software for your understanding now we can able to move to the kit how this is being done in our kit so i have used some different uh, memory registers and memory values apart from that all the codings are going to be same so here uh, this is our uh, kit so in this we can able to uh, enter the program line by line and after that we can able to uh, make use of your codings so first i have already uh, written the program inside so i can able to start with u and i can able to uh, do the uh, I can able to visualize what are the codes I have written inside my program one by one. So already uh, we have discussed about that program. So there is no necessity for discussing the program again. So I am just checking with the code U. So I am going to give the starting address as three thousand. You can any give any address as you as you can able to do. So after moving that after moving into the specific memory location, I am going to start it. So it is going to be SI with my thousand. After the DI with one zero one zero. And after that one this uh, destination index which is going to where i am going to see the values after that i am moving the value of address of specific location of si into al and after that one by one all the things which we have seen in terms of our previous uh, software same thing i have coded here also rotate al comma cl and after that dl comma 0a where we are going to multiply with 0a and after that add al comma bl and after that i am moving to the specific memory location after that i am pressing halt so after pressing halt so i can able to press the reset so after pressing reset i have to make in terms of substitute byte in substitute byte i have to give the okay it should be substitute byte space substitute byte space 1000 so where i am going to give the data already it's 25 again i am giving it as 25 so 25 is getting saved inside the memory location reset go which is going to execute the program starting address is 3000 so i am giving the value of 3000 it's executing so after that one, I'm going to see the result ASB 1010. So I can able to get the see the value of 19 in that place. So that's it. Thank you for your patient listening. We can able to see in our next video.